But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And as you see today, we have a great announcement about our book translated to the Indian language, Hindi. Now we know that in India, there's many languages. Uh, that's not a secret, but there is a major ones and there is, you know, small ones. However, all languages are important and all people are important. Uh, but for sure, for, for me and for what we do, it's very important how many people can receive and read. And as I searched, you know, it turned to be, I think most of the Indian, they can understand and read this language. So I'm very glad to have our book, Deception of Allah, translated into the Hindi language, and we give it for free. And I don't want to forget to mention, to say thank you for the one who did this work. It's a lot of work. It's not easy. Translation is not easy. And uh, the same way thanks all those who translated our previous uh, translation. We say a special thank for this person who did voluntarily, you know, did not get paid. I don't even know the person. I have no idea who this person is. And uh, the Lord, he says, like, you know, when you give it your right, don't tell your left what you did. So we are very thankful for this uh, person or whoever helped this person. I'm not sure who. Uh, for because of them, you know, this book will be uh, able to be received by hundreds of millions of people. Uh, now, uh, a look at the book here. Uh, you will see it's very well done, you know, very well organized. Uh, I can tell it's done in a very nice way. You know, it's not like um, whatever, you know, just uh, throw translation or... So it's very well done, it's very well organized. Uh, it have all, you know, uh, all is needed to make the book easy to be received, to be understood, to be read. Uh, for me, I don't speak the language, as you know. Um, however, you can leave your comment later about uh, uh, what do you think about the translation. Uh, and I'm sure the translator, he did, uh, he or she, I'm not sure, did their best to do the translation. Uh, as you know, the book is really not small. And I hope soon we will be able to have the other book, Science and, uh, you know, the Science of Islam, supposedly, Science of Allah, uh, Islam and Science in depth, to be translated to the, uh, the same language and other languages. Uh, but now, you know, like, uh, think about it. We have it, we have our book translated to Chinese, uh, Malaysian language, uh, many European language, and, and now the Hindi, uh, I mean, well, God is good, and we will be able to reach to people around the world. So like India alone is like a 1.3 billion. China is not smaller. Uh, so all those people, they will receive the book for free. It's totally for free. You know, it's not for sale. Um, and uh, uh, I hope in the future we will be able to do more, and I will be able to write more books. 
So more and more people will see how silly, how stupid this cult, this cult is. You know, Islam is a religion as long as you do not know what this religion is about. If we can't call it a religion, you know, it looked like a religion. It is like they have fasting and they have, uh, they wear certain clothes, they pray in certain times. So it sounds like organized uh, religion. But, you know, Muhammad, he uh, was a person trying to copy from other belief everything they do from fasting to praying and uh, but all of those are not really important who care about how muslims fa fast or how they uh, how they pray you know nothing wrong with praying but but we do not know that when they pray they ask allah to kill you and to curse you uh, and they say please allah don't make us the same as the uh, lost christians and the cursed jews they, they cannot even pray without saying those sentences five times a day uh, everybody in the world you know, praise God, it doesn't matter, I don't know like what kind of religion you are, but you don't start your day by cursing other people, right? But this is not the case in Islam. You know, they have, you know, this religion make everybody an enemy to everybody. So it's very hateful, very uh, violent, uh, very disgusting, very abuse, abusive. Uh, uh, as an example, uh, Islamic religion require Muslims to have a full freedom to attack other religion. But you cannot do the same you know what I mean you cannot do the same so the Muslim when they go to Europe if you speak against Islam they accuse you to be an Islamophobic or you know you are a hateful person but in the Middle East we cannot even preach the gospel you know if you if you in Saudi Arabia if you go and take your Bible with you and you try to read a, a verse from the Bible to somebody you will be arrested immediately and they claim that the Hindus are uh, oppressing the Muslims, but they don't want to tell us what they do to the Hindus. What exactly they do to the Indian. How much freedom they give them. How Indian live inside Saudi Arabia or Islamic countries. So, uh, uh, you know, this cult tried to take, but never give. They ask you to be terrorists, but they are the last one to be terrorists. And actually, w one of their way to make Islam superior is to oppress people. That's why Muhammad, he did everything, everything he can to oppress people in order to accept him as a prophet. Uh, uh, somebody is saying, when you call that woman whore, my friend, if you don't like the way I talk, don't come here and don't tell me how to talk. Why you are here? As long as you don't like how I talk. Uh, when a woman, she is a whore, I call her a whore. You don't like to hear it? Well, get, get lost. Here we go, I just told you, get lost. If you don't like how I talk, I'm a person who say things as it is. People, they come online, they start speaking as if they are gods and angels, and they start saying, you know, like, we well, don't say those things. I say things, nobody say. You don't like it, don't come here. You are a hypocrite. What's wrong if a woman, she is acting like whatever she is. If a man, the same. I describe people as they are. You don't like to hear it, get lost. Why well, you come here? And don't tell me how we Christians, we speak. Go and read your Bible. Bible call people whore. Bible call people son of Satan, vipers, evil generations. So those fake Christians who come here like bugs, you know the bugs, those are fake Christians. They claim that they knew the Bible, but they never read a verse in the Bible, obviously, because I did not call the Muslims evil generation, sons of vipers. This is what Jesus said. So if you know really how Jesus, he speaks, then you will never ever say a word to me. But fake people, they try to frame you. They try to make look you, make like, they want to make you look bad, you know? So, but this is very silly, stupid way of fighting somebody. Do I even care what people think about me? Somebody told you I'm a priest or a bishop or a prophet of God. <laughs> I'm a person when I walk in the street, I carry my gun with me. So don't come to here and school me about how to be a good Christian. I don't care what you think. This is the last thing I'm worried about. What people think about me. Uh, those who they are speaking in a practical correctness way, 
they are not Christians. And the reason they don't say what, they, what I say, because they don't dare to say it. This is the issue. But behind doors, they say it. Same, the Muslims too. So they try to present themselves in a way, oh, okay, brother, you know, let me talk to you, a Muslim, he call you brother. Is that true? Do a Muslim believe that there is someone who is not a Muslim, a brother? You go watch all the videos, you will see a Muslim calling the other person who is not a Muslim brother. But according to Islam, you cannot call somebody who is not a Muslim brother. All the Muslims are brother to each other. So we don't want to go with this, uh, you know, down level with the stupidity. You don't like what I say, please don't come here. Nobody is forcing you. Nobody grab you from your tail and put you in the, inside the cage. This is internet. If you don't like this channel, just, just unsubscribe. Don't come here. Don't ever listen to my videos. We don't have time for, for donkeys. And, and they said to me, why you say donkeys? Well, donkeys make more better statement than yours. <laughs> I have my way to say things, you know? And actually, I believe strongly that people, they come here because I am a very natural person. I don't compromise. I don't say things to make people happy. I say things which make, I don't care who will make him happy, who is not. Who care? <laughs> I am a person who believe, and my belief is not to be compromised. Now, it doesn't mean I am a perfect person who is a, you know, I'm, I'm okay, I'm, an, I'm the angel Gabriel. <laughs> I'm not. So, you know, people, they go, uh, uh, let us say somebody making a channel, doing his best to whatever. Whatever his, you know, let's say somebody even making a channel about food. And then people complain about what he's doing. So why you go there? I mean, the guy, he do what he think is good for him. You don't like it, don't go. What some people they do, they sit in your lap and they play with your beard and they take they, and they complain about why your beard is not soft. I mean, my friend, why you sit in my lap? And why you stop touching my beard? Go and play with the beard of uh, Zakanaik. Zakanaik beard is very nice and it's very it's not even growing there, you know? Brother and sister, first of all, Prince and Prince his beard is thick. And I believe that even he don't have a beard. He kept saying, my beard is 25 meter. Have you ever heard of somebody his beard is 25 meter? Uh, Zach and Nag, it's 25 meter, and I can prove it to you. <laughs> yeah, I don't care what people say. This is the last thing really I care. Uh, <clears throat> you know, if I care about what people say, I won't even be here. Trust me. You know, people, they insult me, people make videos about me, uh, make cartoon. I mean, you, will, you cannot believe it. So if you are a person who can be stressed by a bunch of idiots, then this is not a good job for you. You know, you, you will not be successful here because that will bring a lot of stress. Uh, for me, the more Mohammedan they attack me, the more successful I am. Actually, I would like them to, I would like to see, you know, I heard the Muslims are, you know, so angry in Sweden, for somebody burn the Quran. Which one is doing more harm to Islam? Somebody burning the Quran or Christian prince? I want to see a million of Muslims go in the street, you know, and strike against Christian prince. Do it. That would be a very lovely for me. Who care about burning the Quran? How, what is silly religion? Allahu Akbar, they burn the Quran. Allah, we, we laugh at the Quran. Which one is more horrible? And if you think if you burn cars, people, they will stop burning the car, people would be more upset. The one you burn his car, if even he don't care for religion, he will burn your book. <laughs> you just burn his car. <laughs> but I don't blame the Mohammedan, you know, they have a stupid government in those, in those European countries. There's no government, there's no police, even police there don't have guns. I mean, come on. What a garbage, what a garbage European uh, 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 countries become. Uh, Sheikh Uthman, the potato in recent video, he said, Muhammad and all people are also Messiah. I don't know what does that mean. I mean, this guy is just a kid. You see, I don't blame the Sheikh Uthman to be to become something. You want to blame? Blame David Wood. You know, people, they get angry from me when I speak negative sometime about David Wood. But what you do not know, 
that all those names, they are nobody. Nobody listen to them and nobody watch their videos. Until David Wood, he get in touch. The second David Wood get in touch with the Abdul, Abdul become famous. This is the truth. I make them famous as fool. David Wood make him famous as a strong. Who is the Mimi Hijab? Nobody. I mean, it's just a guy, a kid from the speaker corner. Now Mimi Hijab, because of David Wood, he is invited to countries and he do conferences, advertising. You know, the guy became a corporation. <laughs> All of this because of David Wood. Sheikh Othman, he was, you know, I got him busted. He was arguing, the Christian prince, I challenge you, David Wood, he'll go there. Like, who, who, nobody even asked you to go there. This is the truth, and people get upset from me. Not only they go there, they go three of them. And you, what did you do? Did you debate the guy? No. They start speaking about philosophy. <laughs> Suddenly, all of them are philosophers. Why three of you go there? If you, what the point? To make him famous. They support them. And, you know, those Christians here, they get upset from me for saying the truth. Those people are nobody. Thanks to David Wood, they become somebody. This is the truth. I make them potatoes. Other Christian, they make them concrete. But for sure, they are nobody. Uh, <clears throat> you know, many Christians do not know how to debate. I mean, you go to debate somebody, and then you ask a question, and then he asks for the reference, and then when you go home, you will find the reference. You do there. You are the one who mentioned the topic. Get him busted right away. You know, uh, see, Christians, Christians, uh, who they are not qualified to debate, they jump into a debate without, you know, studying and searching and be ready. And then the Muslims are people who do mockery. You know, mockery is their way, is, is their way to make you look like you are lost. Mockery, ha 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 ha, they laugh at you, right? So if you don't, and you are not capable of to deal or to deal with their mockery, then you cannot really make them look stupid. This is the, this is the whole deal. It's about mockery, how to make fun of you, and how to make you look like you do not know what you are talking about. Look, I know this is coming. You don't speak Hebrew and you don't speak Arabic. I know this coming, right? Do you remember? And Muslim, they start laughing. Shouldn't David Wood, he says to him, you idiot, you donkey. Elijah mean God is with us. You idiot, you donkey. You said, I said to you, your God have body part. You say, who says so? Your prophet says so. Your hadith says so. The internet full of videos say so. If you're a scholar, who are you? This is how you respond. They are doing mockery. The only way to respond to them is by the same way they speak to you. But Christians until now, they don't know how to do it. And this is why they come here complain, asking me, it's not nice to talk to people like this. You call them potatoes. <laughs> Very sensitive feeling. <laughs> I mean, those people, they say take beer, they want to do jihad against that, they want to take your wife, they want to take your land, they want to take your country, they want to take your wealth, and you are worried about me calling them potatoes. Stupidity is unlimited. You know? And I, that's why I say stupidity is amazing. Right? So, again, if you don't like the way I speak, don't come here. You know? Don't. Who, who's forcing you? Nobody. Anyway, today we have a great news that we have our book for free uh, given to the Indians. So if you are a person who speaks the language, even if you don't, please download the file. So one day you meet somebody, you know, you don't start looking where I can find this book, right? You meet somebody, he is from India, he speaks Indian for sure. As I know, Indian, they speak in, in Indian, correct? I know. Uh, so uh, download the book. Save it in your uh, uh, computer, your phone, whatever. You can share it easy with people, whoever you want. And as you see, it's for free. It's very well uh, made. And it costs you one click to share it. All right. Do we have anyone? Any, anything? Any question? 
So if you are an Indian specifically, you have a duty now to share the book everywhere. Indian, Hindu, Indian, I don't care what your religion is. This is a book will arm you. This book alone is enough to make Islam hummus. Literally. You know the hummus? This is the hummus religion. Literally. You can demolish anyone. Give it to your guru if you are an Indian Hindu. Give this book to your guru. Let him learn how they can make Zakir Naik hummus. You know, literally. Uh, Yeah, and I hope I hope soon we will be able to translate the other part because you see the section of Allah, the purpose to make one book, but the book becomes so big, you know. I mean, this is alone is more than three hundred pages, and so I continue writing, 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 and man, we become almost six hundred. So I cannot just publish a book of six hundred pages. I mean, who is going to read it anyway? And it's going to be expensive for people to buy it too. Uh, but for sure, those are we give it for free anyway. Uh, so I hope in the future, the same group who did the, uh, translated this book into the Hindi language, they will be able to do it uh, for Quran and science in depth. And by the way, both of them, they speak about science, the section of Allah and Quran and science. I changed the name because that one is focusing more in the Muslim claim of science, which is nothing but science fiction, you know, like the Big Bang and you know, all crazy stuff. You know? So now, uh, I, I can imagine how many people from Pakistan they speak the language. How many people in Pakistan they speak it? Are there is any? I think Pakistan they share, right? I know in Pakistan, like I think the most popular language is Urdu, right? But I think there's many they speak still the Hindi. Translation of your book in the Bengala language is better than the Hindi. It's okay. I mean, you see the people who they are doing this job, they are doing it voluntarily. So we are very thankful for them. And we cannot complain. Can we complain? You know, somebody gave his time. Took him a lot doing the translation. So can we complain for for uh, uh, for somebody doing a work with no nobody is doing? We cannot complain. Right, so we are very grateful. At least people they can read and understand and do you know and uh, you know learn about religion. Uh, <laughs> do Allah have a brain? Well, first of all, when you say do Allah have a brain, but shouldn't we ask first if Allah is exist? Because before we can check if he Allah he have a brain. Then we need to find if Allah exists. You know, Allah is a fiction, name of a fiction God uh, from pre-Islamic religion. And Muhammad, he copied the name and he used it, you know. Yeah. And then the Muslim, they will say to you, do you know that the Christians in their translation in the, in the Bible, they say Allah? Well, this is because they are, this is why only those who they are living under Islamic occupation, they use that word for they've been forced to. You go a few meters away, out of the corner, you will not find anyone using the word Allah. Yeah, I'm saying, I know Urdu. Urdu is not written in Pharisee script. This is Arabic letters. Arabic letters. Those Pharisee and the, you see, Pharisee as a language, there is a language, but they don't have letters. Same as the Turkish. Turkish, they have a language, they don't have letters. So when the Arabic occupy them, they start using the Arabic. Uh, letters, but Arabic letters itself is coming from the Aramaic. <clears throat> uh, so let us make a challenge now. Let us see how many of you are going to download the link, download the book, not just copy the link and share it. Copy it because this link might be deleted. You know what I mean? This link is not even mine. So uh, download the book, share it in your uh, your own Gmail, and share it around. This way, you can guarantee that always you have the book. Not not just copy the link because this link might disappear, and then you you try to get it, you don't find it. Uh, do we have any question? Uh, 
No, I just check deception of Allah and deception of uh, and uh, uh, Quran and science. Both are in Amazon.com. Maybe you are not searching Amazon.com. I just saw it. They are there. Let us see. You know, uh, if we go to the uh, one, one today I started, before I start actually, somebody came to the comment, his name is Hasher. Hasher, which means the one who you know, grabbed you in the death time. Uh, most of them, they call themselves very funny names because this is supposedly a name of Allah. And he said to me, may Allah curse you. And I said to him, my friend, don't you notice that the curse of Allah is not working? You must keep cursing the Jews and the Jews get richer and more powerful and you keep cursing them. Right? This is the whole idea. When you say cursing, right? Is your is the God of Islam curse working? No. Let me show you an example of the curse of Allah. Your God, Allah, is a potato. He threatened the Christians and the Jews if they don't believe in the time of Muhammad by him as a prophet and on Allah. Allah will erase their faces. It was a very clear threat. And he made it clear, this is not about judgment day. Because he said the same as we did to the people of the Sabbath. And the people of the Sabbath, Allah supposedly already made them pigs and monkeys, which is a very funny, stupid, silly story. You will see here, chapter 4, verse number 47, Allah, stupid of Muhammad saying, uh, oh, you who give in the book. And by the way, here, the Muslims, they keep saying to us, your book is corrupted. Your book is stupid. Your book, did you see your book? Did you read the history of your book? And then the stupid Quran keep calling us people of the book. You idiot. If our book is corrupted, why your stupid donkey Muhammad keep calling us people of the book? Is he sick? Is he stupid? If somebody lost his hair, why you keep, why? You should call him the bald guy, not the guy with the hair. I mean, even your logic is beyond the stupidity. People, they want beyond the space, beyond the moon, and Muslim, they want beyond the stupidity. So look here what happened. Allah is making threat to the Christians. What Allah will do them? If you don't believe in Muhammad, the brother, Allah will erase. Believe, believe fast, okay? Faster, faster. Before, before we erase your face and eyebrows and make them backward, forward, send door, but door, up door, up door, up door. And then nothing happened. Do you see the curse of your God? Do you see how the curse of your God is working? If you don't believe, I mean, if you don't like the translation, you can change it for you. This is a guy, his name is Ari. What the heck with this name? Where does this get name from? I mean, I think those people, they got their names from Amazon. Uh, let's see, uh, Biktal. Muhammad Biktal. Oh, ye into whom scriptures has been given. But by the way, this is a lie. Hmm? If you give us scriptures, you? Oh, what the heck? So why we don't have kissing black stones? Like Kaaba? Why we don't have Kaaba? How come, how come Isa never prayed to the Kaaba and he never asked the Christians to pray in the direction of the Kaaba? And how come he did not do Hajj? I mean, do, do you see how weird this is? How come Musa did not do Hajj as if he's, as long as he's a Muslim? As long the one who built the Kaaba is Abraham, brother. Actually, Abraham is not the one who built it. He rebuilt it. The Kaaba was built by Adam. Before Adam, because the angels. So look what happened here. Stupidity is amazing. Allah, he threatened the Christians and the Jews. If they don't believe in Allah and Muhammad, he will destroy their uh, faces. I mean, what kind of translation this translation is? Before we destroy what? Countenances? What the heck is that? What countenances mean? Change the translator. I mean, those people are really weird. Even, you see how much the Quran is clear for the Muslim translator? They are trying to figure out how stupid the Quran is. We change the translator. Believe in what we have now, bestowed from the high. This is what it says, from the high? What the heck? Where is the word high? I think the one who translates the Quran is high. Continue. 
already possess, confirming whatever. Uh, and look between two brackets of truth. Look, what the heck? The Quran says that? The Quran says of truth? No, we added between two brackets because the Quran, because Allah, he forgot. <laughs> and then he says, before we efface your hopes, what the heck is that? What hopes mean? Is that a kind of asses? I mean, the verse is saying we erase your faces, okay, and bring them to an end. Look, what the heck is translation from? Let us change the translator. I mean, this is this is madness, man. What every Abdul he have different translation for the Quran. Let us see Yusuf Ali. I think Yusuf Ali he was taking less hashish. Let us see Yusuf Ali. Confirming what was already with you before we changed your faces and fame of some of you beyond all recognition. You see, even the face recognition made by Israeli government cannot even recognize you no more. I'm sure now all women who don't look like how they look like, they will say we will not believe in Allah, okay? Please make our face beyond recognition. Like, what the heck is that? And can you show me one person his face went beyond recognition? And Allah, he erase his mouth. He will make your mouth in your backs, in the back of your head. And he will make your eyebrows erased. Well, all women, they take their hair from their eyebrows. What are you talking about? They like it. They love it. What, what kind of a threat this threat is? This is a threat of a potato. Hmm? Look what this Abdul is saying to me. Christian Prince, you are a racist. Uh, somebody delete the comment. You are a racist A few. What the heck? Let us see who is the racist. As long as you are the one who mentioned the racist, this is your God, he is saying, that the one who don't believe in Allah, Allah will make him black. Who is the racist? Abdul? Potato? Christian Prince, you are racist. What the heck? People from around the world come in here, Asian, white, black, they love what I do. Suddenly I became racist. How? Is it, is it me who said this verse in the Quran? The day uh, some faces will become white and some faces will become black. So the God of the cult of Muhammad claiming that all bad people, Allah will make them black. This is a chapter three, verse 106. Who is the racist? Hmm? I like to be black. What's wrong with being black? Finally, I will get a girlfriend. Do you see the stupidity of this? I mean, they accuse you of their garbage. They are the racist. They are the one who believe, as the Quran chapter 3, 1 or 10, it says, وَكُنْتُمْ خَيْرُ أُمَّةٍ أُخْرِجَتْ لِنَاسِ You are the best man ever. Who? The Muslims. Okay, how is that? Ah, let me show you how that. The Muslim, they believe that they are the best nation ever, came to mankind, and they have the right to bring you with the chain around your neck as if you are a dog or an elephant or a monkey. Read it. Is that your book and you are talking about racism, you coward? You are the best of people ever raised for the... Look, 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 between two brackets, for the benefit. Do you see the word benefit? I mean, this is what is killing me when the Muslim, they try to fix it. They make it more horrible. For the benefit, okay, how, what is the benefit of mankind? Let us see. Chapter 3, verse 110. The best for mankind are those who bring them with the chain round their necks all till embrace Islam. Look how the benefit work. Do you see the benefit of having Islam and Muslims? This is what the Muhammadan they believe. They go in the street, they say to you, brother. Brother, Allah love you, brother. The Christian Bible is corrupted, brother, but they will not tell you how racist the Quran against, against the, you know, the, a Muslim, he speak to the black people, he said to them, do you know what the white man did to you? Okay, can you tell us what the white Muslim did to the black people? All the slaves captured and sold. In America, they are captured by North Africa Muslims. All of them. And until now, the biggest markets of slavery, until now we have slaves, by the way, only in Islamic countries. You see the hypocrisy? So what those Muhammadan, they come to people who they are, they have a lack of knowledge. 
or lack of courage. That's why those people are called them potatoes. No? Here there is no mercy. You say something, we make you shish kebab. Right? Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Somebody here is being filthy, we block you. Uh, any other question? Anyone? So let us see how many of you will download the the, the video and sh I mean the, the link for the book. Download the book, not share the link. As I told you, this link will not stay. Download the book, repost it in your Gmail drive, and then when you meet Indian friends, you share it with them. Post in Skype, post on your Facebook, post in Twitter, post whatever you want. And the book is legally for free. I am the author, and I'm giving it for free. All right? This is not a theft. My book in the Hindi language, Deception of Allah, is a gift from me, voluntarily, for free. So when you share the book, you are not doing theft. Uh, anything else? Anyone will use a bad language, we will block you, my friend. Don't use a filthy language. Don't use a filthy language. I don't care who you are. You speak in a filthy language, like when we say the word penis, we are reading a script. We are saying what Muhammad said. So we say it for a reason. But don't be filthy and wash your mouth before you come here. When we say the word vagina, not because we are, you know, we are being filthy, we are reading a filthy book. But you making a comment, insulting somebody, using the F word, that's mean you need to wash your mouth. That's mean you did not even grow in a good house. Why you want to use such a word? Uh, do we have any Muhammadan? Uh, a Muslim in the comment section, actually. He said, the Christian prince, if you're God, let me see if I can find the comment. If your God is, is God, why he sit in the right of his father? <laughs> I mean, come on. If he is God, why he sit in the right side of his father? <laughs> Look at the logic of Oh boy. I mean, that's how you destroy Christianity, my friend. I mean, how a Christian they can answer that? A friend, he is sitting in the throne of God. Who sits in the throne? <laughs> the one who sits in the throne is the one who the throne belongs to him. If you are not a king, you don't sit in the throne of, the, you don't sit even beside the king. You sit down to feed the king. So, I mean, Abdul, you know what? Okay. Abdul trying his best and what you can say when Abdul is trying Abdul is trying you cannot be that uh, let us see if I can find now, look we have a Muslim here he said this let me read this uh, uh, Oh, this guy is being sarcastic. I thought he is a Muslim. Forget about him. Okay. Um, comment, comment. Uh, let's see. Yeah, somebody here, he is saying he made a comment about what I said in the previous video. Let us see what he says. In the moment 41, 35, he says, no, the temple is not his life, but his body. My friend, when you destroy the body, the body have no life. I don't know how smart people are. Uh, so anyway, 
uh, and then they destroy uh, they destroyed his body even before reaching that wicked cross through death they destroy his body but the father raised him I don't know some people here they are trying to do philosophy uh, if if they destroy his body before he reached the cross that means he did not die in the cross he died in the ground that's very silly I mean some people they are weird uh, when Jesus he says you can destroy you know you can destroy this temple and I can rebuild it in three days obviously speaking about his body and his body will the life will be taken away from it this is why it's destroyed if you don't take life from the body there's no life is destroyed you know and then I answered him and this guy you know he liked to argue so he said uh, Arabian prophet we are to resurrected into new body who's who care about we my friend we talk about Jesus Jesus when he resurrected he did not resurrect to the new body this is why he have the nails uh, marks in uh, in his hands and his feet so don't say things I mean I don't know people they are like kids I don't know what to say use your brain before you post something there let us see if we have anything anyway there's nothing really important I'm just trying uh, uh, here there's a Muslim here Muhammad and he said the following we're just trying to read the comment I don't see your chat right away now I just see the uh, uh, the comment as you see I'm reading it it says here through the heavenly messenger Jibreel, who sent down with concrete divine words to convey the chosen man, chosen human messenger. My friend, when you say uh, concrete divine, we laugh. The concrete divine says women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs. And the concrete divine says that the sun set in murky water. And you must, when you try to fix it, says it appeared to him, whereas nobody in the concrete divine, as you call it, it says so. And your prophet, he agree that the sun set in a muddy water. So when a Muslim, he speak about concrete, the divine, I say you are speaking about concrete. Can be base for a toilet seat. Is that your prophet saying that? This is the concrete divine? Well, this is the concrete divine, as you see. So anyway, I'm not going to keep you long, guys. So you can watch the video here. You can share it with your friends. And you can go ahead and download the link. I will try later at night, maybe, I'm not sure, uh, to go live on air again. So we can have uh, more people. If not, maybe tomorrow. All right? Until I uh, meet you tomorrow, or today at night, or or or. Until then, don't forget to subscribe. Share with your friends. Download the book. As you see in Hindi, it's for free. And please share it everywhere let us spread this is a disaster for the for islam in india this is a true disaster this book for islam in india when everybody see this book in india and get it for free they don't pay a penny i think in india almost now everybody have internet this is the biggest disaster ever happened to this country when it's come to Islam, which means it's a disaster not to the country, sorry, but to Islam. Now you can demolish it. You do not need to go to Saudi Arabia to read. All the references there with the page number, even with the Arabic. So download it. Don't just share the link because the link might disappear. The link is in the info of the video here. And you can get the link too from my Patreon. Uh, download the book. Put it in your own G drive and share it with your friends. Let us spread it as much as we can and let us make a revolutionary movement exposing such a stupid cult, causing a lot of bloodshed around the world. A lot of insecure human beings uh, around the world. Remember, we go to the airport, we pay extra a lot more money, almost twice of the money you pay half of the money you pay in that airline ticket is just because of Islam because you pay for security this is the truth the reason you stay way more three four hours before the airplane ticket to be passing through the airplane is just because of Islam 
Islam is not, not just an idea, somebody believe in it. Islam is a horrible cult, causing bad safety and security and spreading violence and hatred around the world. Name one country that is not suffering because of this cult. So it's your duty to save yourself, to save your family, to save your children, to save your country, and to save your future. Because this cult can destroy even our economy. So share it with everyone Indian you know, even if you are not Indian. And until we see you again, I say may the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is doomed. And the prophet of doom, he, got, he just got a new boom. Thank you. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran is mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. In the prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 